Hey guys, how's it going? Jay back again with another video. And what I wanted to do was just spend a few minutes talking about um, what I'm currently using on my laptop nowadays. Here is my tried and true Galago Pro from System76. I love this machine. And this is also a follow-up video to a previous review that I've done. I reviewed Ubuntu 1904. And in that video, I decided that, you know, there just isn't enough new features or any particular reasons why I think anybody should use that over 1804, which is a long-term supported release. So this is also a follow-up to some of the comments that you guys have left on my video, and I wanted to make sure that I spent a moment to address that. Now, as you can see in the title of the video, I'm mentioning that I'm running non-LTS. I'll show you in just a moment, but I'm actually running Pop! OS 1904 right now. Now, in my Ubuntu 1904 video, I mentioned that I don't recommend it, so why am I running it? Well, before I get to that, I want to basically just uh, refresh on my overall opinion on why I don't recommend Ubuntu 1904 to the average user, and also that hasn't changed in this video, but I will elaborate. So, what are the issues with non-LTS? Well, first of all, uh, just in case you don't know, LTS is uh, basically long-term support. That's what that stands for. It's a release that is supported for several years, whereas non-LTS releases are supported for just nine months. And the problem that I have is that the non-LTS releases generally don't have features that are so amazing that would give you any reason to switch away from a distribution that is supported for longer. I mean, why would you give up a installation like 1804 that's supported for several years in exchange for a non-LTS release that is supported for just nine months. The benefit with non-LTS is that you get newer packages, but many of those newer packages are also backported to the LTS release, so that really isn't a benefit. There are some additional features that you do get, but nothing major, and that was my overall opinion for not upgrading. And in my comments section of that video, there were a lot of very valid points that you guys brought up, and I wanted to go ahead and address some of those and let you know, you know, the reasons why I kind of still feel the same way, but also why I switched to um, non-LTS myself. There's a very good reason for that, but it's not what you think. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my laptop, and let's just scroll through some of the comments, and I'll address a few of those. I won't spend too much time on that, but, um, and I'll get to the main topic of the video here pretty shortly, but let's check out a few of the comments. So here's the page for my video. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through. Now, this individual basically doesn't agree and doesn't think that it's fair to compare non-LTS to LTS because um, it's regarded as a standalone product. But um, I don't really agree with that. The, the reason is because the point of the video was to let the viewers know if I recommend that they upgrade. So I wasn't really, it wasn't really a point of comparing the version so much as it was just letting people know why I don't really feel like it's a good idea to upgrade to 1904. So I really do feel like when you're talking about upgrading from uh, a previous release or using 1904 against an LTS, I just have to make sure that I let everybody know why I feel it's not necessarily a good idea to do so. And um, this individual right here commented that uh, they don't really agree with the wording about losing years of support because if you stay current, then you're not actually losing support. You stay supported because you stay current. And I do agree with that. You're not actually losing support when you upgrade, but the problem is if you upgrade to a newer version of the distribution that's not LTS, you might actually experience bugs, quirks, or problems that you don't normally or wouldn't have normally experienced because 1804 is more stable. So by going to a newer non-LTS release, you are actually experiencing a potential risk where you might not like it. And maybe the one you upgrade to is fine, but then the one after that you have problems. And then what do you do? Do you, If you have problems and they're not resolved and it's actually stopping you from getting your work done, which I have personally experienced, 
then your only option is to actually go back to 1804, which then kind of makes me wonder, well, why, why would someone go to a newer release and just have that risk? Because if your current distribution is, you know, if it's LTS now and it's working out, well, then why upgrade? And the only reason I could think to upgrade is if there's features that make it worth it, but I just haven't seen any killer features in the newer releases. So yes, it's true that you're not losing support if you stay updated, but the problem is what you're updating to might not work as, which, as well as what you're upgrading from. And that's an important decision. Distinction. And here I have a comment saying that 1904 is the best release of Ubuntu yet. It seems a lot faster and uh, this person also likes the visual improvements and I agree. Those are definite improvements. I just don't feel like they're good enough improvements to justify moving off of a release that is supported for longer and taking the risk that you might actually um, experience some sort of instability that you wouldn't otherwise experience. Oh, and this person asked, where did I get the, that Tux Next Generation sticker? I believe they're referring to my Penguin sticker that has the Star Trek uniform. That came from the PenguaCon convention in Southfield. If you attend that convention, um, at least every year I've been there recently, they you know give those out. So that's where you can basically get it. So hope to see you in Southfield. Uh, come hang out. It, PenguaCon is awesome. Now, Kevin here mentioned, it's a pretty good point. And... Although I disagree, I think it's a really good opinion. And essentially what he's saying is that yes, the life cycle is shorter, but by the time it runs out, the next point release will be out. And basically if you have the time to, to watch the video, of course you'd have time to go ahead and do the upgrade. And all of that is completely true. However, it doesn't really um, address the concerns that I have with non-LTS. You have LTS that's supported for three years, Non-LTS is supported for a shorter period of time. Now to upgrade from LTS to a release with a shorter life cycle, again, you're experiencing a potential risk. You're going to a system that's not as long supported and it might have bugs. The bugs may or may not be fixed because the development cycle is shorter. You know, it's not supported for as long. That could be a very potential problem. I have run into personally upgrading to non-LTS and finding out Steam controllers are broken or um, in one release, actually all game pads were completely broken. And I've had other issues as well. I have definitely seen some problems moving to non-LTS. And that's not to say you're not gonna run into problems with 1804 because you probably will, but 1804 is supported for a longer period of time, giving the developers a, a, you know more time to fix those problems. And it again, if you're going to non-LTS, that is risk. And and even if the LTS you move to is uh, problem-free, who's to say the one after that won't be problem-free? And then you find yourself going back to 1804. It's going to feel weird going to the previous LTS release if you're two releases above. And again, why even upgrade to non-LTS if there's really no feature justification to do so? It just really, in my opinion, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But again, that is my opinion. And I could see a lot of people here do disagree, but I have to call it like I see it. I just don't really see the incentive to upgrade to non-LTS. And those are some of the comments that I received on that video. And I think that all the comments are valid. I really do appreciate your opinions and I, I appreciate that so much. But, you know, I still have to, you know, double down on my opinion that I just don't really see a good reason for anyone to upgrade to non-LTS. There's a few extra features, yes, but nothing that's just mind-blowing. And then, you know, like I mentioned several times, you have the risk. So then I come to the point of this video. Why am I running non-LTS? And... Um, you know, a lot of people might, might call me out on that, but I basically wanted to um, mention the reason. And the actual reason is very important for me is that I can't help give back to the community and give back to Pop! OS, my favorite distribution, and help them test the new code and the new features if I'm not running that myself. Now, my main productivity machine is still 1804, and it will stay 1804 until the next LTS release comes out. But this laptop right here um, is actually running 1904, and I wanna make sure that I'm running the latest distribution from Pop! OS, because what that allows me to do 
is to stay current with what they're doing, but also help you guys if you have any problems, if something's not working, maybe I'll run into the issue myself and fix it. I could go to the chat room for System76. I can help people there because I love to give back. I love to help out. And it's a lot easier to do that if I'm actually running the latest distribution. There's just really no reason not to run that if you are in a support role, whether it be volunteering or professionally. And I have to stay up to date on everything anyway because I always want to keep up to date on what Pop! OS is doing. And what I discovered is that even though you know, 1904 was basically released a while back, they're still adding new features to it. So even though it's out, they didn't stop developing it. Now again, no features that have come out are uh, you know jaw-dropping milestones that you just can't live without in my opinion, but they are continually moving ahead and I gotta stay up with that and I have to make sure that I'm able to support you guys and also that I'm able to file bugs and that's another way to give back. I could file bugs if I find a problem. It gives the developers a chance to fix it, which actually makes it a better experience for all of you because maybe a bug that I experience that ends up getting fixed will make the you know distribution better for you. Or maybe one of you will be in the chat room with a problem and something doesn't work and I'll be able to help you fix it because maybe I've run into that problem myself. So I still use 18.04 on my desktop and I don't think that's gonna change like I mentioned, but you know, here is my you know main laptop, my Galago Pro running 1904. So I wanted to basically give you guys an explanation for that because I don't want you to think I'm a hypocrite or anything like that. I, um, I do feel strongly that LTS is the way to go and it's what I'm gonna to continue to recommend. But given that I create videos, um, instructional content and I help out in the community, I have to run the latest version. Otherwise, I'm doing a disservice to everyone and I definitely don't want to do that. I want to be helpful to you guys and uh, that's why I upgraded um, this machine to 1904. So there you go. Um, I, I'm sure there's going to be some great discussion in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing that even though I know it's, it seems like there's 50-50 people that agree with me on the on only using LTS and people that don't. It's a very divisive subject, but I'm not trying to, to divide the community here. I'm just trying to give my opinions and my thoughts. But I do look forward to reading further comments about this in the comments section below. So let me know if you agree that you should stick with LTS or if you don't agree and why. I'd be curious hearing some additional opinions that might actually change my opinion. Um, and I'm perfectly fine to um, accept a change of opinion um, if I ha read something that is going to lead me in a different direction. So um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing, for being on my Patreon, for just just being a part of the community and helping me build this. It's been fantastic. I love you all and I will see you in another video here pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, make sure you check out the description below this video where you'll find links to my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, second edition, as well as my Patreon page. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share it on Twitter or any other social media network. And be sure to subscribe so you'll be the first to see my latest videos as they're uploaded. Thanks again.